What's happening YouTube Android audio recorder tutorial for defining the update display function with the switch turned on. I hope you're enjoying these tutorials. I'm having fun making them. This is Christmas Eve, so Merry Christmas to all of you who celebrate it and uh, a Merry 24th of December to those of you who don't. Yeah. Right. So if we look back at the code that we coded, this one um, counts up when the user starts the recorder okay so it just displays to the user how much time is being used on the audio recorder nice and simple and now we're just going to code the bit when the switch is turned on okay so get rid of that and let's start coding so we want to put an elif self dot switch dot active is equal to true now there's a lot easier way to do this in python using sleep okay but we can't use sleep with kivi so this is the way i've chosen to do it you could probably do it a million different ways you could probably do it a lot easier um, I'd be interested to see how somebody else would do this and um, if they could do it with less code that would be brilliant but we're going to do if self dot duration is equal to zero i.e. the recording has stopped it's totally finished we want to display to the user that the recording is finished so recording finished And we want to re enable the start button. Otherwise, the user is going to get really annoyed because he can't start recording again. It's not good. We want to re disable the stop button. Disable. Not label. Disable. Yes. Equals true. Okay, this just makes some space here. The reason I'm coding this live is so that you can follow along. Okay. So feel free to pause if you'd like. Just so that you can take everything in. Um, we're going to unschedule the update display function that was called. And once the recording's finished. And we'll, we'll disable or we'll re-enable the switch. So the user has the option to do that. Let's add some comments here so we know what we're doing. Yeah, re-disable. Comments are good. And re enable switch. 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 Okay. Now it's going to start to get interesting. And if self dot duration is greater than zero and the length of the string of the duration is equal to one okay which means it will be a single digit which means zero to nine all right remember we're we're, we're going to be displaying like a digital clock which you'll see at the end so it's zero to nine okay self dot display label equals oh text equals zero zero 
plus colon zero plus the string self duration and then we want to count down so self dot duration minus equal one just like that and what we do make things a lot easier we copy and we paste because it, there's not much difference between this section and the next section all we want to do is just add this to two so it's two digits so basically it'll be going from 10 all the way up to 59 just before it hits a minute so the length of the string self duration equals 2 and self dot duration is less than 60 okay I'm not sure if this code is very zen like I don't think I've found my python zen yet I'm still looking for it yes Okay, now we want to uh, make sure when we hit the 60 mark we take note of it. So greater or equal to 60 seconds is a minute, if I remember correctly. Correct me if I'm wrong. But time doesn't actually exist clocks do. Now the length of the string self duration modulus 60 so this is a, a mathemat mathemat blah, 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 mathematical operation which um, gives you the remainder of something that's divided so that would be the seconds right so self dot mins equals self duration divided by 60 uh, so self dot display label dot text equals zero plus string self dot mins plus colon zero plus self string self dot duration modular or modulo 60 okay self dot duration minus equal one and guess what we're going to do we're going to copy this and we're going to paste it down here and we're going to change this to two And we're just going to make a little adjustment here. Take the zero off. The naught or the miden nada zilch, and that should be right there. And we're just going to add some comments so we know what's going on. So we've got zero to fifty-nine. We've got eg. One zero one colon zero eight E G zero one colon one eight so it'd be one minute and this changes to seven so they're lucky. Okay, so that's that. That should be working without any errors, hopefully. We'll see in a minute. Let's just make this a little bit cleaner. Okay, let's run it. Cross your fingers. And let's enter a little time here. We want to recall for 11 seconds. And look at that. We have a countdown timer. Brilliant. Should reach lit zero not Leo, zero, 
Recording finished. Okay. Let's enter something else. Let's enter 65, which should be 1 minute and 5 seconds. Hey, look at that. 1 minute 5 seconds. And it counts down perfectly. Alright. So. 360 is 6 minutes. <coughs> Excuse me. So we just need to sanitize the text input. I'm going to make a very, very short um, tutorial to show you guys how to do that in the next one. And then we're down to the bad boy of recording audio on your Android device and making this into an app. All right. I may add some design uh, tutorials in there. I may not. I've got other tutorials in mind which are going to be coming very soon. Okay, but it's the Christmas period. And as you can see, this error here is not good, so we have to fix it. Thanks to Zencode, who helped me out on um, a previous project in the Kivu forums. If you've got any um, issues, I do advise that you go to the Kivu forums and ask some questions. Alright, and that's it. Thanks for watching. If you like, please subscribe and click the thumbs up. I will appreciate it. And the next story will be adding the sanitation. It will be a short video and then on to recording audio. Keep coding. Keep being awesome. See ya.